Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, everyone, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising as well. Weekly Tower reading August 19th to August 25th, 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump right into it. So I think that this is good enough and uh, let's see what you got. So the first card, it is a the topic of your week and we do have the Tree of Pentacles followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. That will be the Lover's card standing. The third one is going to be in regards to the positive aspect of your week here. That is the Four of Cups. Or I would say in this, uh, in this week that's... Uh, Either way is going to work for you, it's just from these three cards, but we're going to get uh, into it uh, in a minute. And the last one is going to be uh, the guidance the Tower is offering to you. This is going to be the Ace of Swords. So before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. The first one, Tree of Pentacles, which is the topic, followed by the second one, which stands for the challenges here. We do have the Lover's card. Afterwards, it is the Four of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. And then the final one here, it is the, temp the uh, not the Temperance, but the Ace of Swords, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so Tree of Pentacles. Well, Tree of Pentacles, it, um, first of all, it does um, reflect to one's potential, okay? So it does shows that your capabilities that you do have either into your new relationship or into your new career or whatever you are doing right now whatever you are focused into doing are exceeding your expectations okay so you can become much better than you than you are currently right now or than you are imagining yourself to be let's say that you are starting to read tarot uh, and you kind of like imagining when you learn all the meanings how good you are going to be but your your knowledge into the cards, let's say, are going to, this, this card is a symbol that is going to exceed, you know, your expectations. That is just an example. But the thing with the Tree of Pentacles is that it is very likely that throughout this week, uh, people uh, or, or, or a specific person is going to approach you to support you through your development. Let's say you are going through a divorce. Someone is going to start supporting you throughout that divorce, not necessarily materially with money, but they will support you through advice they will support you as well through presence and all these kind of stuff it is basically someone who wants to see you or a group of people that is who wants to see you succeeding how by doing the right things well how they're going to make you criticizing you so you can expect that throughout the week to have a um, these meaningful conversations cooperations as well if you'd like to say it that way, and uh, it is very likely that you are going to be thought how things are done. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles formation. It is a uh, <clears throat> 
passive supporters and definitely it's about teaching and learning but ultimately at the end with these two cards you have to make the moves okay someone uh, take it that way you do have a problem and you need someone to help you with but this someone instead of helping you physically with this problem it tells you what you need to do in order to resolve the problem because they cannot do it for you basically uh, if you do want your situations in stir and to grow into your career or into your relationship you have to do it yourself but that doesn't mean that you don't have to take a uh, uh, an advice under consideration as a matter of fact those advices which are sounding very critical to your ear and almost kind of like are touching your pride those are exactly the advices that you need to take and try to utilize on in regards to your career or in regards to your relationship now that is going to be a rough thing though because we do have the lover's card which is the second one and that is the challenges that you need to face and the lover's guy that is, is something peculiar not many people know uh, this was not always the name of this card the lovers right Bef pre 17th century i think the the original name of the major arcana six it was the choice not the lovers right so it was the choice so the way i see the things here and is that well first of all um <clears throat> that criticism you're gonna take on that will severely disrupt the harmonious flow you previously had with the person who criticizes you giving you the advice okay so you may become a little bit more hostile to that let's say your cousin or let's say your 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 friend or let's say your wife or let's say your husband okay you may become a little bit more hostile because you're not use these people to uh to criticize you but now the things are in such a state that they need to criticize you so you can sober your uh, sober yourself excuse me and see the situation for what really is for what the situation truly is the other thing it is that whatever the advice is or whatever the support is is going to be uh different from what you have expected and now you have a choice to make which is going to be a rough one should you do what you have to meaning you know taking that advice and doing what that advice is telling you all right or should you do what you want to meaning going along with your own guts you need to know that there is no right or wrong choice here the thing is that you need to take the responsibility for the path non taken so either way you're gonna win something and you're gonna lose something okay and you need to uh, make sure that you are fully aware what the stakes are that is very very important here uh, the accompanied card is going to be the um, the judgment formation two major arcane a very strong major arcanas by the way uh formation it is a active friends that we do have and uh yeah it, it does look like that you're gonna be seriously dis distorted in regards to these decisions i mean it's gonna be very difficult for you to make up your mind because they both are gonna seem equally good and simultaneously equally bad and you will have a very difficult time to tip the scale uh, in favor of one or the another not because you know you're in a very bad situation or anything but because nobody nobody can tip these kind of scales after all it, it, we we're dealing with what you have to do against what you want to do these scales are usually very equal and they both have their circumstances so at the end of the day it is up to you to decide some of you um tourists are gonna decide well screw it you know i'm gonna go with what i want others will say you know well what i want will give me a lot of headache you know so i will just go with what i have to okay no different than for example a person who uh is looking for a job and suddenly a, a friend of theirs which is the support is um uh is introducing them to a two potential employers all right and one of the job it's well paid but it's pain in the ass to be worked the other one it's a, a very exhilarating job something that a person is gonna love to do but it's it's not well paid so is this person gonna start working for good money you know but it's he will wake up every morning with depression that he needs to do that job will that person is gonna have a really good time enjoying themselves doing the work struggling to pay his rent his uh, accommodations all right 
and to make up living in general. So these two things come along with, uh, with, 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 with consequences and you have to decide which consequence is going to be less impactful. Obviously, if that person have a family, he have to go for the better paid job. But if this person is like me living alone and, you know, a uh, small money are enough, then uh, no problem going for what he loves to do. It's, it's as simple as that. So the next one is going to be the positive aspect. And that is another confirmation here with the four of cups that there is no right or wrong decision. Either way is going to work for you. Okay. Should you stay in the same place, you know, and go along with, with, with your personal gut and with your personal findings, that's fine. Should you take advantage of this new proposition or a new advice or a new guidance? That's fine either. All right. Just so you know, at the end of the day, you will have no one else to blame but yourself should you find yourself in a place you didn't want it to be. So my point here, Taurus, is that you need to be true to yourself. Okay. True to yourself in a sense of that you shouldn't go against um, your, it's not your hunch but your assessment okay so if you are if you assess that what you have to do is better than what you want to do then you go with with what you have to do and leave the, your pride on the shelf if you want to go with what you want to do instead of or if you decide what you want to do is more beneficial for you then uh, how can i place it um do not take advantage of, or do not obliged to this guidance or to this advice or whatever the accompanied card here is going to be the four of cups the formation it is a, a passive enemies that we do have so with this uh, particular combination it does point that you do have a long way to go and to be honest it does look like that even if you uh, well basically what that point is that you will have a chance to uh, have a change of heart right somewhere along the way uh, somewhere along the way but it's going to be a very small windows bay uh, window of opportunity based on these two cards all right so let's say you take the job that you love to do and in a month from now the other job is still open so you decide that the money are not enough and you can have a change of heart but this window of opportunity is not going to be long enough but basically what this with what these cards are pointing is that when you make your decision the deal is sealed yet you know you can have a change of heart should you want it in the very very near future but in case you decide to change your heart you shouldn't wait for long and the last one is going to be the guidance here that is the ace of swords so with the ace of swords ace of swords is always about two things it's about having an, an accurate diagnosis where you are what you're dealing with you know and what to, what are the means that you have at your disposal to deal with whatever you are dealing with and the other thing is that you need to be ready to do whatever it takes. That is the other thing, because the Ace of Swords is new beginning, which is created by uh, when one is facing the wall, when one has no room any longer to go backwards or to, to, base, to, to be pushed backwards. So one has nothing to lose and therefore, therefore, de therefore one surprises everybody with very unexpected maneuvers and actions so if you do have a, a an option to do so this card advises you to do so if that's not your case where you're pushed against the wall then the card advises you to um to think about very carefully you know about what the what the situation truly is because this card is a sign that there is still a piece of information either missing or that you are misinterpreting it the accompanied card here is going to be the five of pentacles and as soon as that piece of an information uh, is found or you, or you truly or you interpret accurately you know some sort of a uh, uh, an event or some sort of a um, circumstances or you make you know that's an orthodox move that nobody expected well there you go i mean with these active enemies you will face troubles no longer it's, it's as simple as that. So it's all about the, a decision, all right? It's all about you making up your final word. You making up your final will, right? And go along with it. And whatever has to happen is going to happen. And to be honest, I don't think that you're going to have any regret about. Yeah, the option of changing of heart is there, but it comes into a catalyst card. So I don't think that many of you are going to use it. As a matter of fact, very, very 
petite number from you guys is going to use that change of heart if it comes to that. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.